Idiot's Guide to Natural Magic, Maria, Maria Ninguna, and Nina Lipsiner. So, I just thought this was a neat little, not neat little, little, but like neat book. First, um, seven fifty when it costs like twenty three dollars here like for me. Um so obviously posted note posted some stuff. Like can you find your inner magician? Like Magician always makes me think of, like, those, like, the people who are, like, like, magic, like, magic tricks, like, card tricks, or pulling the bunny out of the hat kind of thing. <laughs> like, a children's act. Like, I don't know why. I don't really like it, like a magician in, um, certain books, because, like, it always makes me think of, like, child performers, like, you'd hire for their birthday or something, but, yeah, anyway, um, another thing, uh, what means to act naturally. Uh, so living aware um, talks a little bit about uh, feng, feng shui. Um, and then it does have a chapter of foods. Um, like all natural kind of thing. And then it has a whole section of the elements like air, earth, water, fire, and then like spirit. So, yeah. And then like included in this in the section, uh, stirring powerful dragons in the watchtowers. I don't know why they put a, um, put dragon with watchtowers, but they did for some reason, and I'm like, okay, whatever. Um, so, like, how to call them in formal, um, ceremony and such. Uh, they do have quite a bit of recipes like within here so yeah if you wanna get a few more recipes I don't get this book just for the recipes but yeah uh they do have um sun correspondences like I'm not huge on like charts of like correspondences but sometimes it's good to know like what goes with it where depending on what you want to do. Um, so like full moon magic, it tells you the month, like January, wolf moon, and good what it's good for. Um, they just like jam pack it with inform like information like all over the place. Um, and then it does go on to like fairies in one chapter, tree spirits, so like little tree power. Um, you can see I'm going through, I skip over a lot. Um, learn, to, learn to love all of nature, so. Um, yeah, so I did 
talking about not really liking correspondence charts, but I did um, mark Appendix C, Natural Correspondences, at a glance. And like, um, they also have like, I don't know, well, stuff like that. Um, basically, um, charts, sheets on how to, um, do stuff. Um, yeah, it's good to know, uh, like, to keep organized during, like, a ritual and stuff, but, like, pre-made stuff, no, um, I mean, I like that, but, yeah, I found, um, quite a bit of information that, like, I, when, like, oh, I like this, this, um, yeah, sue me all people want for picking and choosing stuff, but it was fits for me, so that's why I posted note it's what fits for me and my practice. So yeah, um if we get a little more natural and just a start off point. This is just a start off point for me, so I like that.